Number one, Tamira Blaine, the 22-year-old mother and part-time college student was found convulsing on a bed inside a Liberty Inn hotel room after being injected with silicone by an unlicensed woman. According to the New York Daily News, Blaine's mother, who searched for her missing daughter for weeks, learned of her daughter's death when she received a bill from the morgue. Number two, Waukesha Reed. After receiving what family members say was her fourth black market butt injection, the 34-year-old mother was found dead inside a shady salon run by unlicensed doctors. Number three, Claudia Adarotimi. The British student traveled from London to Philadelphia for silicone injections and later died when the silicone moved to her lungs and stopped at her heart. She was only 20 years old. Number four, Kelly Mayhew. The 34-year-old BET employee died hours after receiving silicone injections from a unlicensed doctor in a Queens, New York basement. Number five, Joy Williams, the 23-year-old British Nigerian woman traveled to Bangkok for a cheap butt injection procedure and later died after her wounds became infected. Number six, 48-year-old Leslie Ayala died in the Bronx after the risky procedure. She went into cardiac arrest at the home of a friend she was staying with, then was rushed to the hospital but could not be saved. Leslie died of systemic silicone embolism syndrome due to cosmetic silicone injections of butt and thighs. These butt implants are like big now. I mean, I'm talking not I mean it like that. I mean, it's, really it's, it's very popular. But I'll tell you this. What? So, trends come and go, and you don't do the trends on your body. Don't do the trends on your body.